by the IT Systems Training Team. Today's short video is to show you how to place order sets. An order set is a collection of tests based on a patient's condition which you choose. The reason that we use order sets on Meditech is to make it easier for you to order multiple tests for patients based on their current condition. This process should speed up the ordering of tests for most of the patients under your care on the Meditech system. To place an order using sets, you will need to be in the patient's electronic medical record on the Meditech system. If you're unsure of how to do this, please head back to the IT training team's playlist and select patient search. As you can see, I've already have my patient's EMR, which is the electronic medical record, open on screen. Once you have found your patient, click onto the orders button from the list of submenus on the right hand side of your screen. The order screen will now be visible. Here you can see any orders that have been placed for your patient. If any orders are visible, please double check that the current order is not the same order that you are wanting to place for the patient. This will save duplicate orders being processed. Once you have checked the current order, click onto the new sets button at the top of the screen. You can now search for a patient's problem using the name button or select a category from the list provided on the category button. I am going to use category for the purpose of this video. Once you've selected the category button, you will see the full list of categories available. These have been split up into two sections. On the left hand side you have house order sets and on the right hand side subspeciality sets. In the house orders sets section, scroll down the list until the scroll using the scroll bar and select the option that you require. For this example, I'm going to use disordered taste. So I use the scroll bar to scroll down until I can find the option that I'm looking for. Once you've found the option you're looking for, click into the box to select that option. Um, you can add multiple sets just the same way as you can add multiple tests. However, adding multiple sets, the set itself will contain quite a lot of tests in it depending on which set you are using. So just bear this in mind if you were to go ahead and select multiple sets. Selecting multiple sets is as easy as that, just clicking onto the boxes that you require. Uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm just gonna use the one set. Um, as you can see at the top of the screen, it is now saying one queued. This is very similar to when you are online shopping. The more that you add, the more it goes into the queue. So once again, I will just add a couple more sets. You'll see that my queue continues to be added to. So treat the queue section as your basket, as if you was online shopping. Once you have everything selected, click onto the next button. All of the orders that are associated with the set are now shown on the screen. You can exclude any orders that are contained in the set by clicking onto the tick box if required. Please just bear in mind that the tests within the set should all be ordered, hence the reason why they are in the set. And we now need to include some clinical details to each of the orders. To do this, click onto the edit all button at the bottom of your screen. Once you've done that, the edit order list screen will now be visible. By default, the specimen field will be showing nurse slash care clinician to collect. This can be changed to has been collected if you wish to collect the specimen or specimens now by clicking onto the drop down arrow and selecting it from the list. Again, for the purpose of this video, I'm going to leave it on the default setting of nurse slash care clinician to collect. The next field that we need to look at is the clinician details. Clicking into the clinician details allows you to add in free text. The text that needs to be added is the reasons for uh, wanting the test to be carried out. So within this box, you enter in your details for all of the tests within the set. 
This will save you time um, and not have to type them out individually each time. For example, As you can see, it is a free text field. Any typing errors that you make or do not make using your backspace key will not alter anything. Once you have finished typing, press enter on your keyboard to confirm what you have added in. Alternative to enter, you can also press the tab key if you so choose. To confirm that the details have been added for each of your tests, you can now click onto each of the tests in the table in the, in the screen above. Clicking onto each one, you will see that the clinician details should all be exactly the same. Let me go back to the start, they're all added in for me. Now that all that the tests have clinician details entered, you can click onto the submit button at the bottom of the screen. To confirm and place your order, the next step that you need to do is to enter in your PIN number. This will have been issued to you when you received your Meditech login. After you have entered your PIN, click on to Save Selected. As you can see, the scroll bar is going across the bottom of the progress bar. Once that is complete, your orders have now been put into the current orders list. So your orders are now submitted and are marked as unallocated, as you can see in the status column. These have been queued up for someone else to collect. And that's it. If you need any further guidance, please contact a member of the IT Systems Training Team. Details on screen now. Thank you.